Mate, um, are you addicted to competing, Chog? No, no. I'm a, obviously, I'm a, I'm a very fierce competitor. Yeah. I'm very, um, you know, I, I love, you know, not just combat, but I just love competitive nature, whatever it may be, yeah. marbles, yeah. table tennis. Yeah. I just love, you know, to compete. Love winning. I love winning, man. Mate, it's amazing. Like I said, 27 years since we met. How, how, how do you how do you look back on for you that last 27 years? Obviously, I've I've had an unprecedented career. Yeah. You know what I mean, I've been the pioneer in so many things. You know, and I've sort of paved the way for others to come. Yep. You know, as far as to to switch sports, switch codes. Yep. You know, and try to reach the heights that I've that I've done in the past. Can I, can I ask you something? Do you regret quitting rugby league? Not, not at the time, no. Um, I felt that was the right time because I, I knew I was one of the best players in the game and I kept proving it, you know what I mean? I knew I, I, from a young age I was never getting the sort of... I was never getting the, um, the just due that I deserved, you know, um, at, at the senior level. Mm. At the juniors, I made every team you can imagine, like mm. every rep team, state team, Junior kangaroos, Australian kangaroos in high school. In high school. Mate, let's not ignore it, Choco. The final thing that made you quit was them picking me <laughs> for the Australian side against ahead of you. That, that was the straw that broke the camel's back, man. Yeah. I, that was, I was just the year before in 1999. I thought I was the best superior um, player in the whole world. In the whole world, not just five eight. I had the most try scores for a five eight. Like I had like 19 or something. The next best was like 11, you know what I mean? I try assist, line breaks, mm. this, every stat, I was the man. And they took a, a um, they toured England that year, mm. end of 99, 42 man squad. Mm. So they didn't pick one, you know, they picked 42 men. Yep. You know what I mean? They picked two or three five eights, halves or four five halves. Yep. And I didn't even make that. You know what I mean? That really, what, what, I put a dag in my heart, like yeah. what, the, what the hell, what do I need to do? You know what I mean? What, do I need to fly or something? You know, do something that you know, I've never, never sort of, you know, that uh, yeah, can't be done because I've done everything I can do. Then that's sort of in my mind. I was like, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm not, I don't want to play next year. Well, because like, you know, because I'll sit there and you'll get interviewed and I'll go, when are you going to mention me? <laughs> <laughs> then you go, then I got picked. Although on my gravestone, I'm going to etch, here lies Matthew Johnson, the man who made uh, Anthony Mundo quit. I love, but I, I, you know, I mean, you got a mad rapport, mm. you got a mad respect for each other. I've loved our relationship over the years. Um, you know, we've, we've become quite close. I've got to stop calling you when I'm drunk. <laughs> Chuck and I speak often. Sometimes I call him when, well, as we all do, we've had a few too many drinks. And I know he's a mate because one morning he called me and said, Matty, I'm worried. I think you drink too much. I replied, that's OK. You talk too much. <laughs> we've become quite close lately, bro, so I'm always here for you as a brother. But, you know, to what I was playing at, at that time, not just you, but anybody, any other 5 wasn't playing, you know, playing to my, how I was playing. In 2000, the last three games, I think I played um, Newcastle, Canberra, yep. and then the Roosters, the like Daly and Fittler, back to back. Yep. You know, when, when me and Daly and Fittler played each, against each other, we knew, we knew, you know, it was like a, tight, it was like a fight. Mm. We knew who, who was going to get it better, who, who was going to win the game, yep. and who was going to play the best. Yeah. So we had them three last games, and by the end of the last game against uh, Fitlow, they, they were leading like by 18 points. We ended up coming back, and I scored to try to win the game mm. down at Wollongong. Brown to Mundine, Mundine dumbing, Mundine, what a try, Anthony Mundine! 1996, Anthony and I played a game against each other at Cogger Oval, and uh, he beat me twice with that beautiful left foot sidestep you just saw. After the second time he beat me, he walked past and said, give it away, old man. I replied, Jesus Christ, Chuck, I'm only 24. They were picking the Anzac test, and every, um, Daly and Fitter were out. They was injured or something. And everyone was thought, they was talk, calling, you know, telling me, this is your chance, Chuck, show what you can do. I said, yeah, I'm 100%. If I have a pack, Australian pack behind me, I'll do anything. Like, yeah. I'm a beast, you know? Mm. That's yeah. my mind. And then, um, so we're waiting for the, for the team to be named, and they named this bloke named Matthew Johns. <laughs> <laughs> you went, you know what? I can't compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, are you for real, man? Him? No, nah, I, I wasn't like that. Like, I, I mean, I always have respect for you, but I was like, man, they, they dudded me again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they dudded me again. I mean, Matty, yeah, he's playing good, um, playing decent, good footy, like he always does with his brother, but 
I, mean, I was on a different level that year. Yeah. I'm, I'm, si- I, I'm, I'm sitting right here. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I was on a different level and, uh, at that time, in the 2000, end of 2000. And I was like, you know what? I can kiss my black, you know what I mean? And I was yeah. like, I'm out of here, man. 